Welcome to WITS, I'm Kat, and today we're going to be looking at music. I love making music at home, and I have some instruments that we can make today. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a mouse, E-I-E-I-O, with a here and a there, here and there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O, with a here and a there, here, there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a here and a there, here, there, everywhere. your clucking cup, you'll need a plastic cup, some string about 80 centimeters, some scissors to cut it, a screwdriver or a nail, some small pieces of cloth, and a little bit of water. First we need to make a hole in the top of our cup, so I'm just going to use a screwdriver just to push a small hole through the top. Then we need to thread our string through. Make sure that you tie a nice knot at the end so that it doesn't pull all the way through. And your clucking cup is ready to go. You just need to grab one of your pieces of cloth, get it a little bit damp, fold it around the string, and pull down. If you'd like, you can decorate it the way I have done with mine. To make your cow, you need to do the same thing just with a bucket, but make sure you ask mom and dad before you put a hole in their bucket. And for our mouse, you just need to get a ping pong ball, put a hole through the top and the bottom, and the easiest way to thread it through is to use a flattened paper clip. Then you can just tie your string to one end and thread it all the way through. But make sure that you tie it at both ends so that it doesn't pull through. To play your new instrument, just take a dampened piece of cloth and wrap it around the string. Then pull down. Then you'll have your clucking cup. Now, sound is made of vibrations, but normally, if we just pull along the string, we can't hear anything. But when we add the cup, we can amplify the sound. We get the string vibrating, and the cup, and all the air inside. So we have more vibrations, and we amplify the sound so that we can hear it. When we pull down on the string, you'll notice that the sound gets lower. The reason for that is because of the length of the string. When it's short, the vibrations are very quick and we hear a high sound. When it gets longer, the vibrations slow down and so we hear a lower sound. If you imagine that you're running back and forth across a cricket pitch, you can do that many more times than you can on a football field. That's because when it's shorter, the vibrations can move back and forth much quicker than they can when it's longer. And so that's why we get our different notes as we move down the string. Well, I hope you have fun experimenting with your instruments at home. And be sure to visit our website at whatisthescience.com so that you can leave us your comments and also subscribe for updates. Hope to see you next week on WITS.